In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at the restricted query function of CQP Web. So when you're on the entrance page of a particular corpus, uh, you go straight to standard query, but uh, if you want to do a restricted query instead, then you click here and up pops the restricted query interface. So the two parts here, the first is the search box and accompanying tools and those are exactly the same as in the standard query so I shall not say any more about that. Um, the box uh, here you can enter exactly the same query syntax no differences at all there. The thing that is different about a restricted query is that you can enter text type restrictions. What does that mean? Um, well all texts in a CQP web corpus can be if they have been set up in the right way, they can be uh, classified according to one or more scheme of classification. Uh, and this particular corpus that we're looking at here, which is the Brown family, there are five different classification schemes, uh, each of which contains a number of categories. So there is classification according to genre with four categories, classification according to the corpus that the text comes from because the Brown family is a collection of corpora, it's not a single corpus, and there are six different options here. There is classification according to the text category with 15 options, classification according to time period with four categories, and classification according to regional variety with two categories. Uh, and these categories uh, represent the same categorization schemes that you can see in the uh, text metadata screen um, which is discussed in a different tutorial. So how this works is rather simple. You type in a query uh, and I'm, I'll just use a very easy query for um, the sake of argument. Let's say we want to search for Lemma Go now if you press the start query button now, which I just did by accident, um, without doing anything in the bottom screen, that's exactly the same as running a standard query. However, if you tick any of these boxes down here, what the effect is, is to um, restrict the search to looking only within texts in the corpus that match the criteria you have laid out. So, if I just tick the fiction box, then it will search only in those texts that are categorized as fiction. So, where were we? Let's have it again. Go as a lemma. And when you do a query like that, you'll see that the restriction you've put in is mentioned in the top bar of the concordance. So it says what it's restricted to, it says how many texts actually match that, and how many uh, how many how many texts actually had a match, and then that's out of how many texts that match the restrictions that you said. So there are 756 fiction texts, out of which 746 have an example of lemma go. Uh, and of course you get a word count and you get a, a, fre uh, a frequency per million which applies just to the section of the corpus that you have specified. It does not apply to the corpus as a whole. The frequency per million words of go in the corpus as a whole might be higher than that. Um, now it's you, you, you can get uh, you can just tick a single box, but you can also tick multiple boxes. So if I tick just fiction, then I get just fiction. On the other hand, if I want non-fiction, then there are three types of non-fiction. So I would have to tick all three of those boxes to search for go in non-fiction. And there we are, and you can see that there we're searching a much larger number of texts. So let's go back. If you do not tick any boxes in a particular column, 
then that means that you are fine to have uh, text with any of these values. Right? So when I ticked fiction here, but I didn't tick anything here, it meant that text needed to have the category in this column, but they could have any category in this column. You can, of course, put ticks in multiple columns, right? So at the minute with one tick there, we are saying that uh, it can have any category here, any category here, any category here, any category here. But we could also say, find me only fiction that is British English, that is categorized as British English. And if I do that, uh, it was 756 fiction text before. We should now see far fewer. Yes, indeed, we only see 504 texts because we've restricted it to just the British English fiction. And again, the description of the restriction is here and it lists all the things that you've specified that texts have to meet to be included in that search. Um, so the more restrictions you put in, Obviously, the fewer results you're going to find because you're looking at a more select number of texts each time. So, it is sometimes possible to restrict things so much that you will get no results. So, for instance, if I take text from 1931 and I take American English and I search for Go, I will get no results because this particular version of the Brown family does not contain any texts that... Um, uh, that are both American English and come from 1931. So you get this message, there are no texts in the corpus that match those restrictions, so your query could not be carried out. You can tick as many or as few boxes as you want. So for example, if we want non-fiction, so we'll tick everything except fiction here, and we want it from every time period except 1931, and we want it in British English but not American English, then that's fine. That's a perfectly legitimate query, and it will get a result. And again, the description is there. It's getting quite long, but it is there. Let me go back. So that is the restricted query. The things that you must you should always remember are that each of these represents, if you like, a way of looking at the corpus. And texts, uh, the classification that a text has here is in principle independent of the classification a text has in any of the other classification sections. What precise classifications you have here is dependent on what metadata is available for the particular corpus and how the corpus has been set up by the system administrator. That explains the restricted query. Um, so I think that's all I have to say about uh, this type of query and therefore I shall stop there. Thank you for listening.